Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 14 on the 53 Math MTEL. Let's take a closer look. 14. Use the number sentence below to answer the question that follows. 11 divided by 4 equals 2, remainder 3. The remainder shown above can be represented by which of the following? And then it gives us answer choices in fractional form. Now, and we have, you know, three, ha three halves, three fourths, two thirds, four elevenths. I like, I like how those, uh, all those fractions were formed. <laughs> they basically took all these numbers and came up with as many um, different possibilities so that you could, po it could possibly be one of these because it has 11 or a 4 or a 2 or a 3 in it. So one thing that might help is if you just, you could rewrite this. You could write it like a frac uh, like 11 divided by 4, the remainder 3. So that would be like 4 goes into 11, what? 2 times, plop down the 8, subtract it, you get 3. And since this 3 is going to start going to the decimals, you could start thinking of it as a remainder 3. Because usually that's what we do in elementary math. You say you have 15 divided by 10. How much, how much does the 10 go into the 15? Once with the remain, and then you do this, subtract it, you get five. So we would say it goes in once with a remainder of five. And this is sort of an intro level two division in the sort of the third grade level when you don't want to get into decimals. But if you did want to get into decimals, then you have to go further. You have to keep going. And this is where we would now, say, carry down the zero here, really uh, moving over the place value. So now instead of it going into the ones column, it's going into the tenths column. So how many times does four go into 30? Um, well, it's actually seven tenths, but we'll just say seven. Seven times four is 28. 28, you subtract it, you get two tenths. I bring down a hundredth, so I got 20 hundredths. Four goes into this. Five or five hundredths? I know you're like, I've never heard that before. Well, practice it a little bit and it'll start making sense. So we've turned the remainder three into 0 0.75. And last time I checked, 0 0.75 represented as a fraction. Because remember, we, we did the conversion. We found out the remainder of three, when we turn it into a decimal, is 0 0.75. That would be B. Now, just real quickly, another way of thinking about this is, you know, at this point in time, if I didn't want to go into the decimals, I could have just said, and this is essentially what you're doing, team, essentially what you're doing, rather than, if we just were to backtrack a little bit, rather than going into decimals, couldn't we have just divided the 3 by 4? And said it goes in two with, a, with, and this would be the remainder here, three-fourths. Right? Let me do that again. Ultimately, we're, we're dividing this number. We, we keep on thinking how many times four go into it. Two times. So then it makes sense. How many times does four go into three? Well, four goes into three. If we kept going, 0 0.75. That gets you your answer. Okay, team, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. If you found this tricky, or if you need help on the math, you should go to the GoMath website, gomath.com. You find out more about the workshops and the tutoring. You should check one of them out. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi team, I wanted to uh, encourage everyone if you have time to check out one of the MTEL math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye-bye.